If you want to actually attract people, there's a secret that you have to know that not too many people talk about. It's something that really only the highly charismatic understand. And it's difficult to put into words because today's society kind of taboos it. And it's the concept that people will find you boring if you're just the same, the same monotone that they can find everywhere. You have to develop a persona that is uniquely you. And the way that I've been able to do this is to first become the observer. Instead of thinking something, instead of feeling an emotion, you observe that you're feeling an emotion. And now it is not controlling you and it is not allowing you to make quick, impulsive decisions. You see, this is something that people look for when they're trying to find someone that they respect. If you are easily swayed, if you are easily manipulated, you will not be respected. But if you are a man that can assess his emotions, that can assess his thoughts, and really ask, is this the correct thing that I should be feeling, the correct thing that I should be thinking, then you will find that you have much more rational thought than the man who just sits there and listens to all of his quick little feelings and emotions. Now the second way to create this persona, you have to visualize that you are the solution to their problems. Most guys will just sit there and think about the person they like instead of actually trying to be the person that the person they like would be attracted to. And the way that you do this is to prevent thought bleeding. And thought bleeding, I think, is this concept of having your thoughts from one area of your life bleed into another area of your life. When you are working on yourself, completely work on yourself. Don't think about the girl that you're trying to attract. Don't think about anybody else's respect. Just work on yourself. When you sit there and you think about someone else instead of actually being the person that they need, your self-respect goes down. You start to see yourself as a thing that is always admiring someone else. I know it seems weird to say this and you don't really hear this from anybody else, but in order to attract other people, you have to take them off your mind. You have to do other things and focus on greater things than them. Have greater ambitions and you'll see that they suddenly start following, enjoying, and loving your presence. There's this mindset that I really love from Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest basketball players ever. And he wasn't a great basketball player just because he was actually good at basketball, but it was more because of his ego, because of his mindset, because of who he was mentally. And this mindset that he had was that every single time that he went into a game, he saw himself as in a cage. There was no other thoughts. There was nothing that disturbed him from winning. It was as if there was a metal wall, a noise canceling room where he was focusing completely on himself. If you implement this in your life, you'll see that you can actually focus. You'll see that you are actually respecting yourself and enjoying being with yourself. You can't expect to have other people enjoy being with you if you are uncomfortable with your own self. Now, once you're spending time in these different avenues of your life, when you're actually contributing to your, your value, instead of hoping that you're just going to be appreciated for just being you, that's not fair to the other person. Why should they enjoy and respect and value you if you're just you you provide nothing let's be honest don't be the guy who just sits there and thinks about the person he wants to attract all the time that guy doesn't do anything he just sits there and when he actually talks to them he never says anything meaningful at all it's never a meaningful conversation the whole time he's just trying to see what he can do to get her He's just trying to see what he can do to get the prize. Don't think of her as the prize. Think of yourself as her solution. Be the person who's actually there to listen to her when you're there. Go to these different ventures of your life. Try these different things. Accomplish great things in your life and don't think about her. But when you actually see her, be 100% authentic. Be 100% giving compliments. Don't hold anything back. Be authentic. And then after you do that, after you're you create such an impression, no small talk, no talking about the weather, then you just leave. You want to be intense, but brief. You want to create a great impression. You want her to leave her enjoying and cherishing that moment. You want to be the guy whose time is valued, whose time is cherished, whose time is enjoyed. 
And I promise you, if you do these three things, if you observe yourself from outside yourself, so you are not easily swayed, you are not easily charmed, you actually have rational thought. And then you actually create something valuable of yourself instead of expecting her to simply like you. And then when you actually see her, you go 100% authentic. You say those compliments, you charm her as much as possible. And then you leave and you work on yourself again, making yourself more valuable and valuable and valuable. That is the man who is charismatic. That is the man who is respected and attractive. I hope you got something from this video. Go out and conquer.